welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl j nights and today we are doing some simple fall nail art so these are the colors i'm using so let's get into it i am using a rubber base from sp in the color allure this color is so beautiful this is my first time using a rubber base um the consistency is a little thicker but it has great two coat coverage so I'm going to go in with the first coat, cure it in the lamp for about 60 seconds, do a second coat, cure that for 90 seconds to make sure it is fully cured. So I'll just let you watch that. Since we're doing fall nail art, I will be using some of the colors from the brown collection from my favorite brand, Nails by Reserve. I will be linking my discount code that you can feel free to use to save some money on some gel polish. So I'm going in with the colors Caramel, Ambrosa, and Italian Latte. I also have some brown gel paint from Madame Glam on the side. So this is what Allure is looking like here. It's such a beautiful color. Now I'm using the Nails by Dove Hella Cute Liner Brush to do some swirls. Using a long liner brush is really helpful because it gives it more control. As you see, I'm easily able to glide the gel polish across to get that swirl effect that I'm looking for. When doing swirls, you can kind of just go in and freestyle it, like they don't need to be perfect. I was looking at a little reference picture, but I was just kind of going and doing things how I felt looked best. Each nail does not need to look the same. I think it actually looks better when each finger has a different type of swirl, so that's what you see me going in and doing. Um, I'm not showing this on camera, but I do go in and cure between each color. So after I finish laying out this first brown color, I'm going to cure it in the lamp before I add my second color so that they do not bleed into one another. So I did mess up here just a tad, so you're going to see me going in with the Little Baby Blender Brush from Nails by Dove. It's good for shading as also cleaning up small mistakes. Now that the first layer is done, we're going to go in with the second color, which is Italian Ice. I did off camera mix in a little bit of that brown from Madame Glam because the Italian Ice, although it's a very beautiful color, it wasn't going to match with the colors I already had laid out. So I just mixed it up a little bit just to make sure that everything, you know, is cohesive. Now I'm going to cure this in the lamp and go in with the third color, Caramel. This is such a pretty color. I'm loving how it looks already. This is a super easy and cute design for fall. Very neutral, very like good for any day, any type of look. I've been super obsessed with brown nail art lately, so I was so excited to do this tutorial for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments, you know, what other type of tutorials you would like to see, what type of content you guys would like me to make. Here's a little update of how everything is looking, and now I'm getting ready to go in with the last color, Ambrosa. It is a nice, like, eggshellish, like, tannish color, and I think it fits perfectly with the swirls, a nice way to finish it off.
this is what it's looking like straight out of the lamp fully cured and now it's just time for topical i'm going to be using the beetles topical this is what i use for all my press on orders and it is great coverage and has a nice shine to it so this is the pretty much the end of the video guys i am going to show you guys the end results i'll make sure to link everything that i use in the description box make sure you like and subscribe let me know in the comments what else you would like to see if you're ever interested in ordering luxury press-ons feel free to message me on instagram and yeah i'll let you just finish watching And here's the end result. Super classy, super simple, and a great everyday look. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.